Good morning, all you good people out there. Hope you're all comfortably seated in your seats. Miss Cools and I are in Los Sosos, California today. Hey. We are uh, heading over to Montana de Oro State Park. Go check out some trails up there. And then after that, we're gonna head back to Morro Bay where we're staying to uh, check out the coffee shop. We brought our adventure mugs and uh, today's ride is going to be a lot less than yesterday. We did make it home last night. I did not do a conclusion to the ride, but it was, it was basically 45 miles and uh, we averaged about nine and a half miles an hour, something like that. There was a lot of hike bike, a lot of washouts from the recent storms that blew through here. So it was really slow going, but it was really beautiful up there. It's pretty clear, a little cloudy. Today is actually even better. The sun is coming out. The skies are a little bluer. Still a bit of a haze, overcast, but we are not complaining. Are we this close? Not in the slightest. You can see Moro Rock off to my right over there. And uh, this is a cute little coastal village, I guess, called Los Ozos. reminds me actually of some of the towns I went through when I was in Hawaii. It kind of has a similar vibe here, which I really like. So anyway, if you're in the area, it's worth checking out Los Osos and uh, Moro Bay. All right, let's head over there. good people hope you're comfortably seated in your seats I'm doing so good with that Dick Cavett impersonation I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna say I'm doing good anyway uh, we found ourselves on this little gravel road it looks like it makes a nice loop here through the park up over the ridge up there and then I think it might come back on this road so looks like a fun little loop maybe 10 miles and climbs up onto that mountain up there I believe or it goes around it and comes back so how's that sound that sounds good give that a try yeah let's go for let's it, for it. Let's, let's go for it our chains are real crunchy we didn't we didn't bring lube with us and yesterday's wet rain creek wash off really really did them in so I wish we had yeah. a little, just like a couple drops of oil would be really nice yeah that would have helped but I thought the wax on the chain would, would hold up better. The wax loop, but yeah. it didn't. Even the wax couldn't handle the... Against, yeah, the, what we <laughs> did yesterday. Yeah, that was serious, man. A lot of water and dirt. How do you feel today, actually, after all that hiking? Pushing your bike up all those hills? Um, I think we, I was a little sore when I went to bed last night. Yeah. Yeah, and today? Today feels okay. You all right? Yeah. You're back to normal? Um, I'm not sure back to normal. What, how do you feel? I feel a little, I don't know, I'm not sore. My back was a little sore from, I think, walking and walking sideways, pushing the bike. Yeah. You know, or holding the saddle with one hand and the handlebars, so you're kind of, your back's twisted as you're walking. So, yeah. it's a little sore, but nothing a couple miles of climbing won't solve here. <laughs> Get the blood circulating. So anyway, yeah, I'm fine. We'll be fine. We're not going hard today. So, all right, let's ride. So I think the road we're trying to get to is actually right up there on the ridge of that mountain. That seems about right. Ah, it's really beautiful back here. This little canyon.
definitely see a lot of erosion from the rainstorm here, just like everywhere else we've been riding. Wow, oh, this is so nice. Look at this trail. What a beautiful trail this is. So smooth. Very cool. Not like yesterday. Yesterday was rocky and steep. This is like smooth and perfect. Like the trail goes all the way down there through that canyon and 
between all that mountain right there. I think that's where the trail goes. This looks pretty technical, Miss Coles. I think it's getting a little technical here. Uh, we'll be fine. Wow, this is serious, huh? There's the road down there. Some serious next level technical riding, Miss Coles. <laughs> All right, just wanted to do a quick interruption here to this video. I know some of you out there are probably asking, hey, it's 2023, Henry Wildberry. Where is the next custom bike that you are working on? We know it's coming because we did one in 2018, then we did one in 2020, and 2022 went by, we didn't see a new custom. Here it is, 2023, what is going on? So, that's what I'm working on, everyone. I am currently in the process of designing my next custom bike here, and I wanna talk a little bit about it with you. But to do that, let's head outside for a minute. Some of you may recognize this bike that's sitting behind me here. This is the 2020 custom gravel racing bike that I did a video series on where I documented the process of building this bike. But what you may not recognize are the wheels and tires that are on here. And uh, I've put these wheels and tires on here for this mock-up to help me get some dimensions and some geometry for this new custom bike that I'm working on. Now these wheels came off of my 29-inch hardtail mountain bike. So I'm going to move the camera over here and I'm going to talk a little bit about why I put these on here. So what these are, these are a Schwalbe tire. This is a 29 uh, inch or 700C mountain bike tire. And they are attached to stands, rims, and they're set up tubeless. Now don't mind the disc brake here. This bike does not actually have disc brakes. Uh, this bike actually has rim brakes on it. But these wheels fit on here, and the reason I put them on here is because when I designed this bike, I really designed them around, I designed this bike around a, about a 48 to a 50 millimeter wide tire. But what I'd like to do in this custom build, this new bike build, is I'd like to build a little bit of a burlier, a little bit more of a jumbo sized bike. And what I was thinking is, this bike is really, really close to what that would be. The difference is, the tire clearance here, we would need to increase the tire clearance here. And also, we need to increase the tire clearance here at the chain stays. Now what I don't want to do is increase the tire clearance and then lose the option to run a compact double or even a triple crank set. So that's something we have to watch out for. And then the other thing that I put these wheels and tires on here for is to see uh, what it would weigh. How much will a bike that is all steel, an all steel frame and fork with really big wheels and tires, how much does it weigh? Does it feel like a tank? Does it feel heavy like a hardtail mountain bike? Or does it still retain that sort of lightweight feel that you get when you have either a gravel bike or even a road bike. You know, you really get that light feeling from those bikes. But as soon as you put big chunky tires on, you tend to feel like the bike is just overbuilt. 
So I wanted to pick it up and just feel it. And I have to say, it's lighter than my hardtail mountain bike. The hardtail mountain bike has a suspension fork. It's also an aluminum frame. This is all steel. It has an oversized down tube and a standard diameter top tube. I took this on one bike packing trip and with that I was able to see whether this bike was good, whether it would be a good bike for bike packing. And it's really, really good, but there's still a few things I think we, will, we can improve on. And that is the brakes and the top tube. I realized I have two more updates to make for the channel. And the first one has to do with this jersey that you see here hanging up on the wall. Miss Cools asked if I could make her a custom road racing kit for 2023. This is actually what they call a semi-custom jersey, meaning that they have the pattern here, which is these various triangular shapes, but then I get to choose the colors that fill in the patterns. To do a full custom jersey, you need to order, I think it's 25 pieces. I ordered two. I had two made, and this is mine here. And the pattern that you see is their semi-custom template. So I didn't get to choose the actual shapes, even though I do like the triangular shapes that they used. The actual arrangement of the shapes isn't, isn't my design. So I actually have a full custom design idea in mind. But before I go there, I have to order 25 units. So what I decided to do was to use their template that was very similar to what I'm interested in and just play around with the colors here to see what it would look like. So from this, the colors came out pretty close, not exact. Now what we did for the sleeves, we put on some cool, well, we put on the NorCal, I wouldn't say cool, cool is subjective, but we put on the sleeve here, the NorCal, uh, sim the NorCal font with uh, the bear over here. We put on Henry Wildberry's uh, Tourist Tours on the sleeves. So Miss Cools has that. Uh, that's totally customizable. We can do lots of things there. We can put, I got the trees in from my YouTube channel banner here. The colors here are close to what I like and that each of these colors has a specific meaning to it. So we have the pinks for Miss Cool's bike. We've got the dark forest green of my bike. We've got the purple of her custom Tomasini, or I guess not custom, but her Tomasini road racing bike. Then we've got the uh, the pink here of my uh, Colnago frame, and then we've also got the uh, green, this this green, which was supposed to sort of be like my gravel bike, but I like the fluorescent color, so I decided to go full on with the fluorescent. The only color that's not impressing me right now is this forest green, it's just a little too dark. So we'll work on that. And then the sleeving and the colors on the sleeves are, they're okay. I'm not amazed by it. They look a little subdued, a little washed out. They're not real sharp and crisp. But uh, for a semi-custom, for a one run thing here, we got two jerseys, I'm overall, I'm pretty impressed. So what I wanna show you now is, I wanna show you all of the AdSense I've made how much I've donated and where the difference went. So let me put up on your screen this, uh, this chart here. This came right off my bank account. This is my bank statement. And uh, as you can see, going back to September of 2021, I got my first Google deposit in my account and it was for one penny. And that was just so they could verify that my account was linked to my AdSense, my bank account. And then, Immediately after that, I got my first payment, which was just because I had obviously built up enough views to get a payment by this point. And so my first payment was $146, to which I donated to my, my local bicycle coalition. And then I got one later in the month again, which was pretty cool. And it was for another $100, I donated that. And since then, I have donated a total of $1,130 to my local bicycle coalition. The, uh, this, the red number here, is the total amount I've made since I started AdSense, which is $1,683, and I've donated 1130 
So the difference of about $550 was spent on buying a new camera, which I've been using recently on my videos. I bought a used Canon small little mirrorless camera, and then I bought a couple of lenses for it and some filters and some batteries and a charger. And I got this camera used. I bought it for 250 bucks, and I bought it because my other mirrorless camera, which is a really good camera, is the uh, Panasonic Lumix. It's bigger and bulkier, but it has internal stabilization. This one's smaller, lighter, more compact, and it does not use the battery as much, but it does not have stabilization. So I've, I decided between this, this is kind of an in-between camera between a Sony action camera, which is really cool, and then a bigger mirrorless camera. So this kind of fits in between. This gives me the ability to get more mirrorless-like footage with the option to do a little zooming and getting some closer up shots and some really more cinematic, if you want to call it, shots without having the bulk of the camera to carry. I can put this in my back jersey pocket. So it's really cool and I'm hoping that it just helps me make better videos so that I can continue to monetize the channel and make that donation to the Sonoma County Bicycle Coalition. So anyway, I'm sure some of you are curious. I stopped making regular posts on my stories about where the money was going because some of you said I should just keep it private, don't share that information. You know, I got feedback and criticism for it, but uh, I do want to show where it's going. So this is what I'm talking about in this video. This is everything to date, all the money I've received, all the money I've donated, and the leftover for the new equipment. So anyway, I hope that um, makes sense. Oh, and by the way, the camera cost with all the lenses and everything more than $550, but I covered that of my own, out of my own pocket. I did want to try to send as much money as I could to the Sonoma County Bicycle Coalition. So anyway, that's uh, my final update. So back to the video. You did. Was it, Miss Coles? Yeah. What did you think of the park overall? It's nice. Yeah, the climb up was pretty natural. It's pretty easy getting up and coming down. It was a little hike bikey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but not too bad. I mean, we made it down quick. Yeah. But it's a little rockier there. Yeah, this little fire road out of there was pretty cool. Yeah. So, nice. All right, well, we're back to the paved road now. So we'll head back to Los Osos, and uh, maybe we'll stop at that little cafe we saw when we were riding in. Oh yeah. Oh, that that seaside cafe. Uh huh. Go yeah. check it out. Let's try it. All right. So yesterday, my flat turned out to be a little shard of glass in the tire. And uh, Miss Cole's just got another flat here, another shard of glass. So right now with the rain and how soft our tires are, they're wet and they're soft, the rubber's softer, the uh, glass sticks to the tire and then it just gets rolled right in. So we've had a lot of flats the last couple of days. We have, yeah. You especially, yeah. your tires are totally worn out. Uh, yeah. Time for some more tires. New tire. Yeah. These things are like paper thin. Well, the other coffee shop is closed, but it's cool, so we end up over here. This is a good coffee shop in Morro Bay, though. We got what we needed. Good. 
Top Dog. We're at the Top Dog. Top Dog Coffee. We are here on our final day on the Central Coast, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, our power ba is back on at home, so uh, just got the notification last night. So we're gonna head out of here today. We're gonna stop in our favorite little town on the Central Coast called San Luis Obispo. Uh, get some coffee there this morning, and then make our way back up. It's supposed to start raining here. It's definitely raining up in Northern California, but uh, it's supposed to start raining here too. But anyway, uh, love this sunrise over here with the trees and the uh, sky just turning this really cool uh, red and blue, purple and pink, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it. This is like the fourth day I've seen it like this in the morning. Those cool mountains in the background back there.